In this video, we will cover advanced plan importation techniques. To crop an image, select the Crop Image button in the bottom left. You can then click around and draw a red rectangle around the area of the blueprint that you would like to import. By clicking the Import to Current Layer button, you can import the cropped area. You can use the Clear Cropping button to reselect a different area of the blueprint for crop. The Import Preview view also has a Zoom In button, and Zoom Out button, as well as a Plan Scale menu to help you scale the blueprint to be imported. Once the area to crop has been selected, you can click Import to Current Layer. To set the scale, you can select two points and choose either a doorway for reference or any dimensioned area on the blueprint as a reference and click OK. You can add new layers by clicking the plus button in the bottom left. For this example, we will copy our blueprint area and paste it to some other layers. We can add in another layer and rename it using the same techniques. Once our layers are created, we can click on the tabs to drag them around and reorder them to whatever sequence we would prefer. If a plan is imported and misaligned, we can use the Rotate tool to fix this. In this example, we will first rotate the plan to simulate a misalignment. If our plan was imported misaligned, as shown now in our example, we can simply right-click, click Unlock Plan to Rotate, Shift, or Delete, and then use our Rotate tool to properly align the blueprint in the MeasureSquare software. When the plan is properly aligned, we can lock it back in place. We can then set up our takeoff scale. To set up our takeoff scale, we can select the Scale button and then pick up two points for our scale setup. In this case, we'll use the two sides of a common door. We can see that since the common door was referenced as three foot, that we know our plan is to scale. We can also use the ruler to check another doorway to verify our scale in the vertical plane as well. To simulate a plan that has been improperly scaled, we will first set our scale oversized by registering our doorway as 3 foot 6 inches and then drawing a few rooms. We will then go through the process of rescaling both the blueprint and the rooms drawn without having to redraw them. So for this example, we have set our doorway size to 3 foot 6 inches, even though it's a 3 foot common door. We will draw a few rooms so that we have an example to show that the rooms will resize when we rescale both the blueprint and the rooms as a unit using the scale tool. Now that our rooms have been drawn to our oversized scale, we can then rescale both the blueprint and the rooms to the appropriate size. You can then go to Set Takeoff Scale and select Scale Rooms with Image. And we can select Rooms in Current Layer. And then when we pick up our two points, all of our rooms will be rescaled along with the blueprint. We'll click the OK button and resize our doorway to three feet. We'll then click OK. Note when we zoom in, our room sizes have changed to the correct values, in this case, 11 foot across for the IT room. 